Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics. We are going to study the subject in Tamil. So, this is lecture number 1.4, Thermodynamic Properties in the first chapter. The topic to be covered in this lecture we define pure substance, we discuss various types of various thermodynamic properties and we study about the pressure. The learning outcome to the students, at the end of the students, the student will be able to define pure substance, define various thermodynamic properties and describe the types of pressure. Pure substance, we know any substance is available in three form, solid form, liquid form and gaseous form. A substance which has fixed chemical composition throughout is called as pure substance. If a solid form, liquid form, gaseous form, in the moon formula, chemical formula marama irindhichinaka, that is called as pure substance. So, fixed chemical composition throughout in all the three phases is called as pure substance. For example, water, nitrogen, helium, carbon dioxide. Water, tanni, it is available in three forms, ice, water and water vapor or the steam. Ice is solid form, water is liquid form, steam is the vapor form. In all the three form, the chemical formula is H2O. Similarly, nitrogen, liquid form of nitrogen, we can, we can liquefy the nitrogen, we can liquefy the helium, we can liquefy the carbon, carbon dioxide, but the chemical formula is CO2, H2 and the N2. So, the chemical composition is constant throughout the substance is called as pure substance. Thermodynamic properties, thermodynamic, what is thermodynamic property? Any characteristics of the system, a system is defined by a characteristic that is called as property. The property, there are two types, intensive property and extensive property. Intensive properties are independent of the mass. Intensive property do not depend on the mass. Example, pressure, density, velocity, temperature, specific volume, specific energy and specific entropy. These are all the examples for the intensive property. Extensive property dependent on the mass. So, mass of Purut or property mar nichanaka extensive property. Mass of Purutu marla, whatever may be the mass, the property is the same, then it is called as intensive property. Example for extensive property is volume and energy. Then we define the property density. Uh, uh, the property what we are going to discuss, it is common for the fluid mechanics subject also. Density is defined as mass by volume, mass per unit volume. Mass by volume rho equal to m by v, kilogram per meter cube. Mass on the kilogram, volume on the meter cube. So, kilogram per meter cube. Specific weight, w, weight by volume. So, weight equal to m into g, mass into acceleration due to gravity is the weight, which is in Newton, volume is in meter cube. So, Newton per meter cube. Specific volume, specific volume is volume by mass. So, specific volume small v equal to volume by mass, v by m, meter cube per kilogram. From the three property definition, what we can conclude, w equal to m into g, this we have to remember, weight equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity in Newton. And uh, if you compare density and specific volume, letting compare pani patam naka, specific volume is 1 by density. This also you have to remember, specific volume is equal to 1 by density or density equal to 1 by specific volume, both are equal. Then specific gravity or relative density. So, specific gravity is the ratio of density of a substance to the density of the standard substance. You have the two type of specific gravity, one is with reference to the water, liquid, another one is with reference to the gas. Specific gravity for liquid substance. For liquid substance, the standard fluid is water. 
for gaseous substance the standard fluid is air so sg for liquid density of any liquid divided by density of water rho by rho water a specific gravity of the gas density of any gas divided by the density of the air rho by rho air and we define the pressure so this property is very very important in thermodynamics and the fluid mechanics also pressure pressure of a fluid is defined as the force exerted exerted per unit area so p equal to f by a force exerted boundary of the area or unit area so the unit is pascal force is in newton area is in meter square newtons per meter square or it is pascal so this definition you have to remember force per area force per area is the pressure the unit of pressure is newtons per square meter which is also called as pascal one pascal equal to one newtons per meter square where enna unit irukku pressure ku na bar standard atmosphere kilogram force per centimeter square or kilogram force per square centimeter these are all the units for pressure ipo idu ellathukku relation in the yellow color bar yellow color table values this also you have to remember particularly the first one first one second one one bar equal to 10 power 5 pascal or which is also equal to 100 kilo pascal one atmosphere equal to 1.01325 bar one kilogram force per centimeter square equal to 9.807 into 10 power 4 pascal or 0.9807 bar or 0.9679 atmosphere so the unit conversion you have to remember because it is required for problem solving so this is we have to it is very very important நீங்கள் ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கணும் ஸோ ஒரு நோட் புக்கில் எழுதி வச்சுக்கோங்க இது ஈஸியாக ரெஃபர் பண்ணுற மாதிரி எழுதி வச்சுக்கோங்க ஸோ வி ஹாவ் த்ரீ ப்ரெஷர்ஸ் அப்சுலூட் ப்ரெஷர் கேஜ் ப்ரெஷர் வேக்கம் ப்ரெஷர் அப்சுலூட் ப்ரெஷர் ஸோ வி ஆர் மெஷரிங் தி ப்ரெஷர் வித் ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் அ கேஜ் ப்ரெஷர் கேஜ் தென் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் கேஜ் ப்ரெஷர் ப்ரெஷர் மெஷர்ட் ரிலேட்டிவ் டு தி அட்மாஸ்பிரிக் ப்ரெஷர் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் கேஜ் ப்ரெஷர் ப்ரெஷர் மெஷர்ட் ரிலேட்டிவ் டு தி அப்சுலூட் வேக்கம் தட் இஸ் ஜீரோ ப்ரெஷர் அப்சுலூட் ஜீரோ ப்ரெஷர் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் அப்சுலூட் ப்ரெஷர் vacuum pressure pressure below the atmosphere pressure is the vacuum pressure so gauge pressure measuring using a gauge vacuum pressure is also measuring using the vacuum gauge but the pressure is lower than the atmosphere pressure gauge pressure is higher than the atmosphere pressure absolute pressure it is the pressure measured with reference to the vacuum pressure with, with reference to the zero vacuum absolute vacuum or zero pressure to understand we refer to this diagram so this is the datum absolute vacuum where p absolute equal to zero this is atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure any pressure above the atmospheric pressure is the gauge pressure any pressure below the atmospheric pressure is the vacuum pressure for vacuum pressure the sum of vacuum pressure and the absolute pressure is the atmospheric pressure for positive pressure the gauge pressure absolute pressure equal to sum of the atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure so how will you define the atmospheric pressure for positive pressure absolute pressure equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure for negative pressure absolute pressure equal to atmospheric pressure total atmospheric pressure minus the gauge pressure so this is the definition for absolute pressure for negative and positive pressure pressure is a scalar quantity so there is no direction it is a scalar quantity the instrument used to measure the pressure name of the instrument manometer bodan gauge and pressure transducer so these are all the instrument manometer pressure gauge vacuum gauge and this is the pressure transducer this is actually this pressure is here we have a diaphragm which converts the pressure into electrical signal the electrical signal will be captured and it is recorded for advanced instrumentation we are using the pressure transducer and we said atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure is measured with a device called barometer so this also you have to remember barometer barometer is the instrument name of the instrument used to measure the atmospheric pressure so what is the atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure equal to 760 mm of mercury at 0 degree celsius what is the reference reference is standard atmospheric pressure is the sea level sea level is the reference point for measuring the atmospheric pressure at the sea level the pressure is 760 mm of mercury so 760 mm of mercury equal to 1.01325 bar so this also you have to remember 760 mm of mercury you have to remember barometer you have to remember then we define energy 
energy is the capacity to to exert a force through a distance energy is capacity to do something abadi nyavu vechukala energy is capacity to do something the unit for energy is newton meter or joule power rate of energy transfer is called as power so this is all the basic very basic definition namba school level lende padichirukkom energy is capacity to do work power rate of energy transfer is called as power the unit of power is 1 joules per second or 1 watt so 1 joules per second equal to 1 watt so energy simply energy is joules rate of energy transfer is what joules per second is what we stop here so we have few questions to answer from the discussion for the past 10 minutes first classify the property whether it is extensive property or intensive property and write the its unit so you have to classify volume kinetic energy pressure stress and velocity whether this is intensive property or extensive property and we have to find out the unit so the answer here volume is an extensive property the unit is meter cube kinetic energy is extensive property what is kinetic energy of mv square of mv square m it depends on the m mass so kinetic extensive property the unit is joule pressure is intensive property the unit is pascal or newtons per meter square stress is also intensive property which is also newtons per meter square velocity is intensive property meters per second the value of one bar in si unit is equal to ninga select pannunga there are four values you identify if your option is d then you are correct one bar equal to 10 power 5 newtons per meter square which of the following is correct just read the answer the four options and you find out absolute pressure equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure gauge pressure equal to absolute pressure plus atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure equal to absolute pressure plus gauge pressure absolute pressure equal to gauge pressure minus atmospheric pressure so identify the correct answer if your answer is absolute pressure equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure you are correct the unit for energy in si unit energy in si unit joule joule meter watt joules per meter eh, if you are able to remember the correct option is joule energy is in joule 1 watt is equal to 1 watt is equal to 1 newtons meter per second 1 newton per minute 1 10 newtons per second 100 newton meter per second so what is your correct answer you select the answer so if you have opted 1 newton meter per second because newton meter equal to joules 1 newton meter per second equal to 1 joules per second that is the answer that is a unit for watt so we stop here uh, you uh, thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box uh, you, you have if you have any queries you can contact me we'll meet again in another video lecture in thermodynamics in tamil until then bye